The good folks over at Abmat sent Untamed Strength a couple of crash cushions with the Untamed Strength Death Metal logo. Now, I'll be honest, when they sent them, I had to ask, what exactly do they do? And the point of contact that I was talking to said, they're mostly for garage gyms and commercial gyms like CrossFit facilities and strip malls that get noise complaints, primarily for Olympic lifting with bumper plates. They absorb the vibration and dampen the sound on a drop. We do a lot of deadlifts here at Untamed Strength, so let's try them out. <laughs> So do that clip again, but without the music. Ah. ah! ah! <sighs> Quiet as a church mouse. Now, I'll be honest, silencing deadlifts is not really in the untamed strength mission statement, but if you train in your garage and you're trying to keep a baby asleep or you're trying to keep peace with the neighbors, maybe you're a gym owner and you are on the second or third floor of a building, or you prefer deadlifting in the back of your local library, these are definitely for you. In fact, I know a couple people who deadlift in their apartment and they do use crash pads. Before I forget, they also sent these untamed strength ab mats. So people who do crunches will put this on their lower back I know in CrossFit facilities when they do handstand push-ups, they'll actually put this right on top of their head. So let's talk about the actual function of these crash pads. What I did was gingerly set my deadlift down onto the crash pads. And then I gingerly set the weight down onto my plywood deadlift platforms. And I'll be honest, there's not a huge difference in noise. Then what I did was set the weight down at a normal speed, which is kind of like a controlled drop onto the plywood platform and onto the crash pads. And there's certainly a noticeable difference. The crash pads are quieter than the plywood. But if you remember at the beginning of this video, the person that I was talking to from Abmat said that they're primarily for Olympic weightlifting with bumpers, which I'm doing neither of. Let's try it. If you do deadlifts or power cleans on the second or third floor of a building or in your apartment and you can't afford to damage the floors, this product makes a lot of sense. Or you might just not have room in your garage for a deadlift platform. These are light and portable. Again, in that scenario, makes a lot of sense. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. These are block poles. So I had to stand on a deficit in order to get the barbell to standard height. But with that said, even with 405 pounds on the bar, the pads are pretty dense, so there was really no compression. The weights didn't dip down much at all. And I don't think anyone in the world can deadlift more than 405 pounds. So if you haven't got the hint by now, I'm not gonna be using these to silence my deadlifts because I don't really care about noise in the gym. But when these arrived, my eyes lit up because they are perfect strongman crash pads. So it would be disingenuous of me to say that you need these crash pads because you don't. For years, Untamed Strength did fine with an old spare car tire and a square piece of rubber mat. That works fine. But with that said, as a gym owner, I understand the value or the importance of having a clean, professional look to your gym. And it looks a lot better to have a bunch of crash pads stacked up in the corner than a pile of old, dirty, car tires and I laugh when I read YouTube comments or Instagram comments that say things like oh I could make that piece of equipment for 20 bucks in my garage not everyone wants a Mickey Mouse job DIY janky equipment in their gym so that's something to consider so that's it if you want to get some of these ab mat crash pads I'll drop the contact info below <laughs> thanks for watching and always remember tread on time